Hi, my name is George Garcia. Welcome to the Guided Tour of Eagle Video 1, the Eagle Control Panel. Let's get started. When you first open Eagle, you're going to be presented with this screen, known as the Eagle Control Panel. You're going to notice that it consists of various trees. The first tree is the documentation tree. Here you'll find all the manuals and all of the setup information for some of the UOPs that are included with Eagle. So whenever you have a question about how to perform a certain action or a certain command, you can always look here in the documentation tree. Next we have Eagle's libraries. Eagle ships with several hundred libraries by default. They're also organized by a few of our partners. We have Element 14 libraries, which if you download any will be in this folder. There is also one of our partners, Seeds. Their libraries are included with Eagle, plus all of the ones that ship by default with Eagle. You can find any of the parts that you're looking for here in these libraries. Next we have Design Rules. These rules basically guarantee that your file is going to be manufacturable. As long as your board design can conform to a set of design rules, usually the ones provided by your board house, here we ship with several in Eagle, then you can be confident that the board house will be able to produce your design. Eagle's default DRU is extremely conservative by default, so if you can get your design to pass the default DRU, then you can be very confident that any other board house could produce it. User language programs and scripts are usually treated together. Basically, user language programming is a mix of C with some extensions that allow users to basically script Eagle. We use these a lot in order to perform import and exports of different file formats, to automate tedious tasks, and to sometimes implement whole new functionalities. So they're very important. The one drawback they have is that they're strictly read-only. On their own, they can't modify anything. So in order for a user language program to modify something, it has to write a script. Now scripts are very simple files. They're just text files consisting of eagle commands, one per line, and eagle runs them as such. Out of the ones that ship with eagle, the most important one to know is eagle.scr. This is eagle's configuration script, and it's an ideal location for storing any defaults or any settings you'd like to have for your configuration. Next we have the cam jobs. Cam jobs are the mechanism Eagle uses to generate manufacturing data. It is through these that we generate Exelon drill data through the Exelon.cam and that we generate the standard Gerber data required by our board house in order to produce your board. Most of the time you'll be using Gerb274x.cam. Finally, we have the projects tree. When you first install Eagle, you'll have an Eagle folder, which is in the documents directory of your computer, and you have an examples folder. The examples folder includes all of the example files that ship with Eagle, whereas the Eagle folder itself is the recommended location for you to store all of your projects. By storing everything in the documents folder, you can be sure that it's going to be in a safe location. Every update of Eagle expects that folder to be there, so you won't have to be moving things around and overall it's just easier to manage. So let's say we want to start a new project. We expand the Eagle folder. We can right click, select new project. We give our new project a name. Testing. And that's it. This has been Guided Tour video number one, the overview of the Eagle Control Panel. Thank you very much and have a great day.